Hey there. Today we're going to be fishing for rock blackfish, black drummer, rock blackfish, pigs. They're really a rock blackfish. This is the outfit I'm using. Now this in the description section, okay, so you'll be able to check out what it is. Okay, so the tide's rising. There's a bit of a bump there, a bit of a bump meaning there's a bit of a swell. It's about at least a metre, maybe 1.2 metres. The odd bigger wave, all right, so using prawns, using bread for burley. Right, uh, king prawns, banana prawns, or endeavour prawns. Endeavour is also known as a blue tail prawn. Light sink is running straight to the hook. A 1 0 or a 2 0, too extra strong. Make sure they're a strong hook. This is like a 10 kilo outfit. Basically, this is a 20 pound outfit. So it's it's like a medium size outfit for rock lackage. Can't wait to show you today's catch. Hopefully, we're going to be doing well. So, bread for Burley. I've got some dry bread here. You can dry it yourself, or you can just buy some cheap loaves of bread. Add what you need, soak the bread. So that's that needs to be all saturated, okay? For a few minutes at least, because it's dry. With the fresh bread, saturate it for about, till it's soggy, for at least half a minute or a minute. Don't mulch it up, otherwise you'll get hard chunks in there. You don't want to feed the rock blackfish, do you? Okay, so make sure it's mushy. So I'm gonna let this mush up a bit before I start mulching into it, otherwise it will end up chunky and that'll end up feeding the rock blackfish. So that should be ready in a few minutes. As I said, the fresh bread, if you're gonna soak that, it only takes half a minute to soak. Great burly. So uh, a running ball sinker straight to the wall. Depending on the size as well, which then increases the current substantially if it's going fast because of the size of the swell, right? So you'll find out how fast the drift is by the size of your sinker. The problem with the sinker weights is that you've got to use them correctly. So uh, that takes time, obviously. As you can see, just a running ball sinker straight to the hook. There you go. 2 0 extra strong hook. As I say, 1 0 or 2 0. There's my burley. And there's my prawns, which I'm going to peel as well. You know, it's optional if you want to peel them. Sometimes you don't want to peel them, there's too much vermin out there. Vermin meaning too much small, undesirable species, and they just peck, peck your bait to nothing. So you're better off with keeping it unpeeled. But a rock blackfish prefers to peel. So, first bait. <laughs> Hoping on a bag of tasty drummer today. See you out there. Quite a punchy swell out there, you can see. Coming from the southeast. Uh, it's well over a metre. And maybe this is one and a half metre sets. I'm not going to struggle today. I've made that burley up. As you can see, if I burley it up now, where would the burley end up? 100 metres down that way in half a minute or a minute. <laughs> it's basically a waste of time. So I may not be able to burley until perhaps until it fills up enough. So the burley, you don't always burley up. So you don't just get told to burley up. So if you get told, okay, burley up, otherwise you won't get rock flat. That's not necessarily true because in some circumstances the burley isn't going to do anything. Okay. Bugger, I just had a good load up then and I was backing off from the wave that was coming that way and I rod loaded up and I missed it. Extremely common kelp fish. Expect to catch plenty of those. Anyway, that's a medium sized one. They get a lot larger than that. You can eat them, but there's more desirable species to eat. Coming 
having a little bit of a problem. You've got the wind coming one way, you've got the swell going the other way. And a strong current going the opposite way of the wind, which can make it quite difficult. I might keep that fish if I don't get any rock black fish. But great, great tucker, they're great eating these fish. Anyway, we're gonna get this in the pond and back out there. It's a groper fest, I tell you. <laughs> Another groper. Oh man. Probably on 1.2 kilo, I guess. Maybe a bit more. Geez, I'll tell you what, it reefed me up as well. Had me around a ledge. Feel that line rubbing. Oh well, I'll release this one. Alright, another spot. <laughs> That's all you can do. close to getting a snag. I felt it catching on the ledge and I wound it into four. It got locked into the ledge. So it pays to understand that. Often when the wave goes past, your rod tip bends over, the person strikes and they think it's a fish. And you weren't getting a bite, it was the actual hook getting caught on the ledge, the wave going past, bowing your line, Bending the tip over, making you think it's a bite, but it's not a bite.
Okay, this is what I'm after. <laughs> Let's get over here. Beautiful couple of kilos of prime drummer. Do I call it a drummer? Rock blackfish, pig, <laughs> whatever. How good's that? Finally, <laughs> it took a lot of effort, but finally it's happened. Actually, it's well over two kilos. I'll measure it up later. Check it out. Very pleased. Fantastic. So this is the male. Look at that purple banded wrasse. It's actually really a crimson banded wrasse. There's no, there's no band on it. It's probably when they're in breeding, they get like a purple band going across there, like a crimson band. Look at those beautiful fins, the oranges and the. You can barely see that blue on top as well. Gorgeous fish. Anyway, the other one I showed you was a female. This is the male. The male's gonna look hot, otherwise it ain't gonna get a free run. So, great on the plate too, by the way. Beautiful fish on the plate. I wanna release this fish, but I've already got a great feed, so why keep it? Anyway, Crimson Banded Wrasse, beautiful fish. Just wanna mention, now this is the fourth time I've moved. One rock blackfish, and that other bycatch being the crimson banded rat as well, and uh, the uh, female of the uh, rat. So, I mean, there's a few fish going. The drummer fishing is really quiet today, so I have to really fish hard for them. And sometimes you've got to move around a lot, it's just the way it is. Waves coming in. It's quite hard to fish. So as I'm fishing, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking about those crows. You know what crows do? They'll peck the eyes out of your fish. You think, well, how would they peck the eyes out of a live fish like that? What they do is they scare them from one side of the pond to the other, and they flip over the shallows. And then when they're in the shallows, or in literally no water, they'll just slowly peck their eyes out. And you come back, and you've got a fish with probably no eyes. Pretty unsavoury, you know. Anyway, so before that happens, I'm going to put them in a net and half inch the net and put them in deeper water. By the way, uh, double half hitch, one half hitch, two half hitches, and it won't come undone. So I'm going to go and put these fish over here. Okay, peace of mind now.
line is really dangerous. If you head me over that edge, I can feel the line really rubbing. So I don't want to risk lifting this fish up. Hey, this peak went, oh, that was turbocharged. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's a sensational pig. I reckon 50 centimetre fish. Beautiful. <laughs> it went exceptionally hard. It was like it was like it was nearly turbocharged. <laughs> Had me over the edge, reefing me up. Incredible. That was an incredible fight. What a great fish. Wow, a wrap. <laughs> okay, so I'm so eager to measure up this fish. Feel alive? Yeah, I feel alive. <laughs> no doubt about that. <laughs> that bang, bang on 50 centimeters. Okay, I've got them a lot bigger than that, but still, you know, you've got to love that. That's easily two and a half kilo of prime rock blackfish. What a superb fish. That is fantastic. Woo! After that fish, you've got to check your line. I felt that line really rubbing on the edge. And it's not too bad. A bit of damage in the first, first meter or so. At the end of the day, you wouldn't you wouldn't climb down a frayed rope, would you? Down a cliff. So why would you fish with damaged line? That's bound to snap on a quality fish because it's only the quality fish you're going to lose. Not the tiddlers. Okay, time to move. Okay, so I'm running out of time. Probably about half an hour left of the outing. It's going to be dark, so... And you're not going to fish after dark and this sort of stuff. It's just uh, way too dangerous. Anyway, look, I've got to feed. I'm pretty pleased, but I wouldn't mind maybe one or two more pigs. Oh! What to mention? <laughs> Spot number five. Here we go. <laughs> you know, most outings you probably wouldn't move to more than one or two spots, but today you really got to work hard for the fish. Quite a big swell. It's not too bad here, but. Oh well. It's legal. It's 30 centimeters, but I'm gonna release it. <laughs> oh well. Good. It's not safe in here, but it's not.
Look, got another little pig. <laughs> Let's go and measure it. There you go. It is that is a legal drummer rock blackfish, 30 centimeters. So it's about the same size as one I released before. There you go. 30 centimeters. But that's gonna be returned. Good looking little fish, aren't they? Geez, they pull hard even that size. Oh well, it's a tough outing. I just wanted to show you reality fishing. So it wasn't a massive bag of fish by any means, but this is what you've got to do sometimes to be able to catch a few fish. Anyway, it was a lot of fun, it was challenging. It made you really think hard as well. So if you want to watch uh, more videos like this, please share, like, and subscribe. Love to see you again.